sex. Got a lot of blood and it's cold. They keep trying to get me for my soul. Thankful for the women that I know. Can't go 50-50 with no hope. <laughs> I've been so obsessed with this lately. This is like iced ginger tea. It is so good. I'm obsessed. I'm not upset. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. <laughs> hey guys, it's Angie Rush here. I hope you guys like this layout. Tell me what you think. It's summer. Let's try to do a lot of outside videos. I'm sorry about if the audio is trash because I'm literally, I live kind of by like a street. So like there's cars always moving. But hey guys, it's Angie Rush here. I think I said that. I miss you guys. Sorry for the little bit of, that was my issue, for being a little bit, um, what is it? For being a little bit behind on the videos. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have so many videos planned and it's just because I don't have a computer. I'm saving right now to get a MacBook. But I have so many ideas planned. I'm going to Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm going back to Columbus, Ohio. In a, in a week now so I'm so excited I I am planning to be daily vlogging but anyways let's get to the video as you can see by the title why I never want to date again this is real this is true I seriously don't want to be in a relationship again I don't want to date I've told not clickbait I told my parents um, I'm gonna be a single mom and I'm gonna have sperm donor sperm donor babies I know I'm over exaggerating a little bit but like this is real I just feel like my generation sucks when it comes to boys and relationships and like serious stuff and like I know it's not all the boys but like I just feel like my generation sucks and tell me down below or like if you agree with me because I feel like a lot of girls agree with that or boys too because a lot of us never mind I'm not gonna say any of that I've really been excited to film this uh, just because it's going to it's kind of I guess it reflects on my last relationship I don't know if the get ready of me is up yet or it'll be up after this but it's about I was cheated on I found out a year later after my relationship ended that I was cheated on and it just ruined things even more for me it sucks I know so yeah I just and a lot of things in a relationship that I didn't want to be in a relationship I've only been in one and I didn't want to be in one because of all that stuff and a lot of the stuff happened in a relationship that I was scared of I guess that's life so I just want to talk to you guys about it and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this video I don't know I try to keep my channel as real and raw as I possibly can because I feel like that is so filtered out on YouTube and I'm not that youtuber I am just I try to be as real not I can't say genuine because there's so many genuine youtubers but I guess it's di different when you have a big platform I don't have a big platform I mean I have almost 700 subscribers which is to me a huge platform but it's not like I'm getting 700 views each video, you know what I mean? I just wanted to talk about some things in my relationship. I have some notes because I didn't want to forget about why I never want to be in a relationship again. I'm saying I never want to, but you never know, obviously. In my last relationship, I was like, I'm not getting in a relationship, and it happened, so I guess, like, just Lord knows what's going to happen. So one of the things that I wrote down is I lost myself, and it's so true. I lost myself in a relationship real and this is something that I was like such an advocate about not doing in relationship I, my relationship I felt like was super healthy to be honest I felt like it was super healthy I felt like I was treated like a princess and then like after the fact relationship is when everything crashed and burned and then I found out I got cheated on so like okay <laughs> I lost myself I definitely lost myself and I think that is a me problem and I tend to do that a lot especially when I like someone I'm just so I don't even know how to put it I'm just so I give my all. I put my all into people if I really care about them. In all types of relationships, friends, boyfriends, blah blah blah. I put my entire I put my everything into relationship into that person and I do everything to make them happy. And I realized I kind of lost myself in that sense because I was just thinking of his happiness. Even though I was happy, I was just I wasn't thinking about myself as much. I was just thinking about him and making him happy and making him do this and making him do this and making him go to school and making him um, make sure he goes to school and make sure he does this and make sure he goes to practice blah 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 I don't know I was really I mean it's it's a nice person to have but like I don't know I just don't like that I lost myself because even putting something simple as makeup I stopped wearing makeup and I love makeup uh, and I stopped wearing makeup I just like 
I didn't have time for it I felt like I just didn't want to waste my time in it blah 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 and also which I really admire a lot of girl like a lot of girls I stopped trying to look good which I hate that I did that because I was like I have a boyfriend now which is so ridiculous and so stupid and I like saying that out loud I'm so freaking embarrassed like I just like I lost who I was and like I think that was why it was so hard oh girl don't cry <laughs> I think that was why it was so hard getting out of the relationship because like I got out of the relationship and I forgot who I was like I just I don't know I get I, I just forgot who I was and I just who I thought I was was Blank's girlfriend I guess I don't know it was the worst feeling so when I got out of the relationship I was just so lost and I was so hurt and so broken and it was just I'm just as you can see I'm flourishing I'm doing me as it is right now but like during the time if you saw I have like a breakup journey series little thing on my channel if you saw it was really hard on me and those were true and real emotions I don't go back to watch those videos because they make me tear up because I feel I refeel the emotions that I felt in those videos but yeah that's one thing that I absolutely hated I lost myself so much yeah I gave too much of me and it was just so ugh, I know people can relate to this I hope like what I'm saying all in general also I felt like you know when you hang out with that girl and like a one girl who won't stop talking about her boyfriend yeah that's what I felt like but I wouldn't always talk about him because I keep it in my head because I would want to talk about him but I wouldn't because I was like girl don't be the girl that's annoying but that's just I felt like he consumed me and maybe it was just because we were in the honeymoon stage of our relationship but I felt like he consumed me consumed me and like even uh, like I remember I went like when I would go like clubs without him I felt some type of like anxiety or separation and I felt like he needed to be there for me to enjoy myself or I felt weird like I just it was so bad like it was so bad so bad and even I went to my friend's birthday party and I felt um and he wasn't there and I felt so like he was out of town but I felt so like I need him like I was missing him so much and again I think it's just because it was the in in the um, honey we were in the honeymoon stage maybe that's why or maybe it was something that was just I just felt anxiety away from him and it was just so dangerous and I don't like how I felt how that made me feel but in the grand scheme of things it is what it is we obviously were not meant to be obviously at the time I thought we were and I thought he was Prince Charming but we obviously weren't which is fine that's not a bad thing it happens <laughs> it's just trial and error and it's really it's a lot if your first boyfriend is actually you're the man that of you marry because I, since that relationship I've learned a lot I've talked to a lot of different other people never in not in that way but I've talked to a lot of the people and I've like seen what I want and what I don't want and I even started writing in a planner and a journal every day to write my progress and honestly that helped a lot for me I feel like but that is really the main reasons why I don't want to be in a relationship anymore I just want to focus on me anymore again like I just want to focus on me and I don't want to get lost and I am it's kind of exhausting when you even though he was my first boyfriend he wasn't my first boy I've talked to so it's kind of exhausting giving your all and putting your all of your effort and all of your your love and your kindness and just everything and into someone that's just not worth it like obviously I've learned from the experience but he's not worth it because he cheated on me so he's obviously not worth it not worth my time and it was it wasn't worth it so if it was just we broke up it would be yeah I would say it was worth it but oh, it's not just we broke up anymore so it wasn't worth it and I totally regret not following my gut and I actually wanted to talk about that in this video in the beginning I guess the main issue was I had trust issues in the relationship so in the beginning of the relationship there's two incidents that happened that made me not trust him so our relationship was essentially built off of <laughs> no trust I remember the first incident that happened I went to his house where he, or he was living with his friend so at the time so I led to his like yeah I went to his place and we were just watching a movie it was the day he was gonna ask me out too and we were watching a movie blah 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 and then his friend comes downstairs and his friends like oh hey and I'm like hey whatever and he's like you're the girl that was here yesterday right and I was like 
bitch, what? <laughs> um, and that messed me up. And I was like, what the heck? I was so upset and so pissed off, like, that I was just wasting my time. And I was like, so mad. I was like, I want to go home. And he's like, just tell me what's wrong. And I told him, and he was like, no, like, you don't even get it. Like, I came home from work, and like, there was just girls here. Um, and like, I wanted to go to my bed and like, sleep, but like, they wanted to play what's it called with me and I was like or play card games so I was like okay I let that one slide then hap another time um, what happened was uh, I was taking selfies on his phone because he gave me his phone and I was taking selfies on his phone after going out and um, in his text message and he had a text from someone uh, from this girl and he talked and it was the day that we expressed all our emotions to each other through text and then we saw each other the next day and that night when i fell asleep he messaged a girl and was flirting with her and was like come entertain me blah 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 and he was like i'm so sorry it was my bad blah blah and i let that done slide honestly i wasn't gonna let any of them slide i was going to cut him off my friends kept pushing me and were like you're overreacting it's okay like you guys aren't together you're tripping um you were like kind of giving him mixed signals like don't even worry like just who cares even if you guys aren't together for long it's an experience and I was like that's not what I want though to date I want it to be I'm not dating for fun like dating for fun isn't what it is for me I'm dating to I'm dating to find a future with someone yeah those two incidents happen and I still and I just didn't trust him throughout the whole relationship I know I didn't trust him and that was our relationship was built off of no trust essentially and that was, I think, what kind of messed it up a little bit, which kind of like, resulted in him cheating to me anyway. So that's why I'm saying, I'm saying I should have just followed my gut. Always follow your gut, girls, because what you're feeling is real. Your gut is real. If your gut tells you that they aren't the one or something's happening, 99% of the time your gut is telling you the truth. So that's what I learned from this, actually. I learned to follow my gut and not my friends sometimes. But I'll let some, I do need to reality check sometimes for my bed, friends because sometimes I do overreact sometimes. I just wish I followed my gut because all this could have been avoided and I still would have been a single queen. I mean, who knows? But 99% I still would have been a single queen. Um, but I'm a single queen now. The only thing I'm very so happy about is that I didn't, he did not meet my parents. And that's like a number one thing. I don't want people to meet my parents who are going to be walking out of my life. And it was gonna meet, and he was gonna meet them the next week, and then he broke up with me before. So I was oh, so happy, so happy, so happy, so happy, so happy. Taken when we were dating, he was like, "We should start a couple's YouTube channel," and I was like, "No, I'm not really about that because couple channels like they're tough and they're like they break up a lot because it's so much stress on the relationship." But he didn't even know I had a YouTube channel, but I got a YouTube channel. Yeah, I think that's everything in this video. Everything I wanted to say, I finally let it off of my chest. And if you guys saw one of my vlogs, I was like, uh, my vlogmas videos, one of it says, it is what it is. It was one of the light, I think it was the incident that he was, he like, um, he messaged a girl, come entertain me. And I was really hurt about that. Um, so now you know what happened in that vlog. <laughs> I've realized my worth realized what I tolerate and what I shouldn't be tolerating I realized what I'm looking for and um, I realized who I am and that I am pretty strong even though I cry a lot <laughs> um, I'm gonna cry now but it's happy tears because I'm so proud of myself and um, breakups are tough especially for someone like me so tough so tough like I I basically like I wear my heart on my sleeve and it's just like really so tough even though like I try my best to be a hard girl like breakups are tough but thank you guys so much for watching I hope this helps somebody or I hope you can relate or if you're just watching to listen thank you for listening videos are coming back don't worry my sister's out of town right now so I can edit as much as I can before I leave out of town but again thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment rate, subscribe I love you guys so much thank you for listening to this I know it's a little dramatic, but like it's literally how I feel. But yeah, bye guys. And remember, it's not goodbye. It's see you later. Mwah. Bye. Yeah.
Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so awkward. My uncle who lives here like just walked by to go to the bus and he saw me. <laughs> so awkward. You don't even know that I do videos 